Hurricane Irma has intensified rapidly into now a Category 5 storm. That means it is packing winds of 175 miles per hour. Hurricane warnings are up for Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. This monster storm is now posing a major threat to millions of people in Florida. So let's get right to CNN meteorologist Chad Myers with the latest forecast. You predicted this uh, within the past uh, few minutes, Chad, and now here we are. Well, we just watched the Hurricane Hunter aircraft fly through it, uh, Allison, and we saw wind gusts of 186 and 192 aloft, you know, where planes fly, five, 7,000 feet. That's where those hun hun air can, uh, hur Hurricane Hunter aircraft, you tried to say, fly. But the fact is now the winds are getting down to the surface here, probably close to 175. So Anguilla and the BVI and the U.S. Virgin Islands, you are under warnings, and it's, it's a done deal for you. You are going to get this storm. You are going to get the track of the storm right over some of those islands. And if you do, the winds at 175 will be devastating. As we move it along to the DR and to Haiti, there's a lot of mountainous areas here. That may tear the storm up a little bit. But notice what happened at the 8 o'clock advisory. This number at 5 o'clock said the storm in the Florida Straits somewhere around 130. Now it says 150. So that's even more impressive because the storm back here is more impressive. There are mountains in here. And those mountains will catch some of the rain. It will tear the storm up just a little bit. So this track, although not quite set in stone, is certainly pretty, you know, obvious where this thing probably goes. This storm size may still be significantly different from where we are now. Let me just say this. If you're retired in South Florida and you have kids in Michigan, ah, time to go visit. That's for at least for now. I mean, this is still four to five days away, but, you know, why hang out? Right. Sure why? looks like it. Those models, all of them very, very ominous looking. Chad Myers, thanks so much. We do want to know we will speak to the National Hurricane Center very shortly to get their view of the situation.